Hello, welcome to NAB 2015. My name is Mark Shipman Mueller and I will introduce you to the Alexa SXT camera and the SXR module upgrade. Here we have one of the first prototypes of the Alexa SXT camera. To start with, we have three new cameras in the SXT lineup. There's the Alexa SXT EV. EV stands for entry version. There's the Alexa SXT Plus and the Alexa SXT Studio. Well, there will not be an SXT-M because we have the mini camera now and we'll keep the original Alexa in the program but it's being renamed as the Alexa Classic EV. Now that's the lineup, what's inside this camera? We've kept the sensor because the sensor, the 3.4K LF3 sensor is really the basis of the best overall image quality that the Alexa delivers. But the innards are new. We have the new electronics in here. Those are the same electronics as used in the 65. We have the image processing chain of the Alexa 65, the pixel correction of the 65. We have the color management from the Amira and an optional noise reduction from the Amira. Now, the Alexa SXT cameras have five main features. The first one is in-camera ProRes 4K recording. With the electronics, the really, really powerful electronics from the 65, we can take the image from the Alexa sensor, do a mild up in camera, and derive a 4K image inside the camera. And there are two flavors of that. The first flavor is ProRes 4K UHD. There we take 3,200 photo sites from the sensor. We do a mild upsample by a factor of 1.2 to 3,840 pixels, and that is UHD. That format is the same as we have with the Alexa SXT, Alexa Mini, and Amira. And then the second 4K format is something that is unique to the SXT camera. This is ProRes 4K Cine. There we take 3,414 photo sites, use the same upscale algorithm, and derive 4,096, which is the pixels, uh, pixel width you want for a 4K DCI cinema release. So with the increased horsepower, the Alexa can now record 4K in camera. That's the first feature. Second feature, we have better image quality. With the 65 electronics, the 65 image processing chain, and the Amira noise reduction, we actually get a better looking image out of the Alexa SXT than out of any previous Alexa. The third feature is the color management. Like with the Amira, like with the Alexa Mini, we can now do 3D lookup tables in the Alexa, and we can do ASC CDL values. Not only that, but we can change the ASC CDL values live. Essentially, you now have a LUT box built into the camera and we already have a beta version of Pomford LifeGrade that we're showing here at the show that allows us to change the CDL values live in the camera. The fourth is we have three independent HDSDI outputs now, which allows us, for instance, to output a log C image from one output, goes to the DIT card. In the second output, we could output a Rec. 709 with status information on the onboard monitor. And the third output could provide a clean Rec. 709 image that goes then to a director's monitor on the set. In addition, the Alexa SXT has Rec 2020 color space built in, which if you wanted, you could record, but you can also output to any of the monitors. Once Rec 2020 monitors become available, the Alexa will already provide a monitoring signal with Rec 2020 color space. And last but not least, we have a new media bay here on the camera, which takes new drives we can support all the existing media, that's the CFAST 2.0 cards, SPS Pro, SPS Pro Plus, and the XR capture drives with 512 gigabytes. But there's also two new media. There's a one terabyte and a two terabyte SXR capture drive. Now on the one terabyte drive, you can record about three and a half hour of ProRes 4x4 HD. And then on the two terabytes, seven hours of Pro by four, uh, ProRes 4x4 HD. And then if you shoot every raw open gate, you get about an hour on the one terabyte drive or two hours on the two terabyte drives. Each of these media requires its own adapter that slides into the new media bay and the SXT supports all these media now. That's it for the features on the camera. Now we have upgrades available. These upgrades are available only for XT cameras. And there we have upgrades for the XT, the XT Plus and the XT Studio. We don't have any upgrades for the XTM. And those upgrades fall into two different categories. First, if you've purchased your Alexa XT before January 1st, 2015, you can purchase the SXR module upgrade. 
That'll get you an Alexa SXR label. It'll get you all the new electronics inside the camera. It'll get you the new side cover. What it doesn't get you is future poss possible future upgrades we may do with new SXT cameras. Now, if you've purchased a camera after January 1st, 2015, you actually get a full SXT upgrade for free from Airy. This includes an SXT label, it includes the new electronics and the new side cover and all the future upgrade potential. There are a number of things we can build into a new camera for future upgrades that would be cost prohibitive to do in the SXR module upgrade. And then last but not least is the availability. These cameras should come online in the middle of 2015 and the price is about the same as the XT cameras. The studio is a little less expensive. The um, XT EV and the XT Plus, SXT EV and SXT Plus are slightly more expensive, but in general it's the same ballpark in terms of price. If you have any other questions, take a look at our website. We have a lot of information about the Alexa SXT on the website already. And I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much.